This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. <laughs>
and then we have the wall of the CR from the lab lavatory or sink and then mag measure tayo ng 1 that is the height of our sink or ng lavatory okay so tunduhan natin yung 1 There you go. That is the height of our lavatory. And then, we have also the windows. Makikita natin yung dalawang windows doon sa ating right side. So, ang height ng window natin mula sa finish floor line ay 1. And then, 1 ulit ang height ng window natin from the bottom. So, magkapantay yung ating pintuan at saka bintana parang sa front elevation ganito. And then gaya ng ginawa natin sa front elevation, hahatiin natin yung dalawang span ng bintana to make it 4. Ayan. So, we'll measure tayo ng one line para maging detalyado yung ating windows. Let us put the details and then the handles of the windows of course. Ilalagay natin And then, the handle of the door. Okay. So, lalagyan pa rin natin siya ng hamba, of course. And the measure of that is 1 or 0.1 or 1 millimeter. And then, there you go. Natapos na natin yung details from the cross section. And then, now we will put the cutter na point 2 and then the height of the roof so kukunin ulit natin yung ating front elevation and kukunin natin yung ating elevation dahil pare-parehong hip roof ang ginamit natin pareho lang ang roof ni front at saka ni right side. Ayan. Kaya gagayahin na lang natin siya. So, lalagyan natin ng 1-1 doon sa gilid. And then, we measure tayo ng 2.5 from the center. Pag-connect natin yung top of ridge kay gutter. Okay, ini-imagine natin na hinati natin yung bahay from the part na nilagyan natin ng letter A kanina. Which symbolizes that that is the cross section. So, we are almost done. So, ang gagawin natin, maglalagay tayo ng section lines. Ngayon, yung small dashes na ginawa ko kanina dun sa finish floor line, gagawin natin siyang visible line dahil hinati nga natin siya, di ba? Ayan. So, maglalagay na tayo ng section lines. Mas maganda kung gagamit tayo ng ruler sa paggawa nito, sa paglalagay nito. Ayan. So, ang section lines are slanting lines na pare-pareho ang pagkakaslant, magkakadikit. Ayan. Ibig sabihin nito ay ibig sabihin nito ang object or ang drawing ay hinati or kinat. Ayan. So, yung kabuuan ng ating yero from the top of the ridge to the ceiling ay lalagyan din natin ng section lines because that is part of the cross section or part of the house na hinati natin. Okay. So, ang process ng paggawa ng cross section at saka longitudinal section ay pareho lang. Magbabase lang ngayon kung ano yung gusto mong ipakitang part na hinati mo mula sa floor plan. So, ito yung details ng ating cross section from the floor plan na ating hinati kanina. So, I hope you follow or you get that one. 
Ayan. So, same process kung ano yung nilagay natin kay elevations, ganun din yung ilalagay natin kay cross sections. So, ayan. Pinapakita natin or sinasabi ko dito na yung part na yun ang pinakita ko. Kaya ko ito. O kaya ito yung naging output dahil yung part na yun ang pinakita natin or hinati natin. Okay? And this is the roof na hinati din natin from the roof plan. Okay? So, the next thing to do now is to put the dimensions and the labels of or details of the drawing or of the cross section. So, lalabelan natin yan ng cross section and then the scale 1 is to 100 and then the details, the measurements. So, same measurements or same details with elevation. So, that is the process on how you do your cross section. Again, cross and longitudinal section has the same or have the same process sa paggawa. Magkaiba lang sila dahil magkaiba sila ng details na ipapakita. So, there you go. We will now put the dimensions and the details of our cross section. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot. Again, this is Teacher Ezzy saying, May all your dreams come true. With prayers and correct character, everything is possible.